Today I am going to do the next part of the um, of those cabinet doors. I'm going to start making the frame, um, and hopefully the, the frame will be in, uh, and then and then I'll finish that today, uh, and then maybe maybe put the doors on on tomorrow. But we'll we'll see. I've I've been putting this I've been putting this job off for a while because it's a bit of a head scratcher, uh, and I'm not really sure how how I'm going to do it. So I've. What have I done? Well, ah, well, this morning I sort of um, knocked up one of my wonderful sketches again. As you can you see that? Yeah, one of my sketches. Got a load of like, load of dims. Yesterday I cut a load of a load of MDF up. Um, the reason I've used MDF is because it's cheap and I can just cut it down to whatever size I want. Um, it paints up pretty good, and this is all going to be painted, so there's no need to use, or I don't think there's any use, need to use any any timber on this on this. Um, Cut it down with my with my skill saw. Um, I don't have a table saw, so this is what I use. Uh, it gets me the results. It's a bit rough, but you have to you just plane the edges down and and sort of um, make it good yourself. If you're after more accuracy, then yeah, use table saw. But for this, I don't think it needs it. So anyway, what I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna start laying things out, I'm going to start measuring things up, I'm going to try and get it to what I want to do on the, on this little note um, and then and then from there I will I'll be going back and forwards a bit um, but eventually we'll, we'll move upstairs into the into the bathroom and then we I'll, I'll show you you know I'll, I'll show you how how you go about trimming and, and, and fitting this frame in place. Um, Okay, morning. Um, so yesterday did quite a little bit of bit of sort of routing and cutting and, and stuff. Made the made the frame. So I put that in upstairs in the bathroom. It was it was a bit awkward. And it was going to be really awkward to film. So I, I haven't filmed it. You, you you can have a look at it later on. If you've got any questions about how how I made it, then then fine. Then you know ask ask some questions. Um, it's pretty much just like routing and cutting, ripping things down with the with the with the skill saw, uh, and then screwing them to the wall and and stuff like that. So pretty basic stuff. Um, but today, the the great 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 day, um, we're gonna we're gonna actually hang hang these doors. So I've got the door on the on the bench as you can see, um, and what I'm gonna do is because we're in lockdown at the moment, I haven't really had much chance to get bits of timber or anything and I need some beading to go around and just clamp these clamp these um to clamp these uh panels in and I'm gonna use this old bit of timber so it doesn't look like much but when you when you when you cut it down and you and you and you sand it up it'll be it'll be fine because again I'm I'm gonna be painting it all up and everything. So um watch me um cut it rip it down with the saw um and then I'll install it and I'll skew skew the nails di diagonally in and everything uh, and then sand it down a little bit. Once we've done that, take them upstairs and we'll um, and we'll start uh, hanging the door. So, um, well, um, I, I expect a lot of this video is going to be fast forwarded, to, um, but um, anyway, enjoy the show. Yeah, as you can see, I've, I've, I've put these braces on the table. I was uh, pulled up in one of the comments saying your table is very uh, risky, but now nah, absolutely solid, perfect for a workbench. Right. Anyway, let's get on with it.
So we've done all the ripping down, now we're going to chop, chop and do the mitres. Use So, what's happened is, uh, one of my nails has gone through. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a nail punch, I'm going to punch it back in, and then I can feel it. And the reason I can do that is because I'm painting it. If I'd done this on something that you couldn't, then I'd be, I'd be very annoyed. I punch it below the surface, and it gives you the opportunity to Put a bit of filler in it, and then you'll never see it again. There you go. Okay. As you can see, just, uh, just punched it below the surface. But as you can see, it's, it's, it's pallet wood, isn't it? So there's going to be blemishes, and we knew that from the start. Right, welcome back. This may take a little bit of time because it's a bit awkward but it really it should be pretty much the same as, as hanging a, um, a normal door or something like that so 
first up, find, get the shape. Um, I usually start with the hanging side, uh, which is the far side here and the, sh the far side here, or well, this near side. Um, but because the door doesn't fit in, then I'm going to have to, gonna have to, I'm going to have to cut it down a little bit first, fit it in, and then, and then mark it. Because what you're doing is you're, you're scribing it against against the door frame to get it fit exactly as as you want. So I'm going to use a power plane on this because um, it's it's easier. And because we're indoors, I haven't got a vice, so it can be virtually impossible to use a, like um, a hand planer on, on these small doors. So anyway, I'm going to crack on, um, and if there's anything, I'll just, I'll just, I'll stop. And I'll, I'll make, make some, I'll talk to you about it. Right, got a bit of fiddling about. I think it's uh, it's there. It's, it's there. So I'm going to put the rest of the screws in. Put a little match on. I've got a little ball bearing catch on. Uh, a knob. Got to put a knob on. And then it's um, ready for painting. Uh, and after that, then that's everything for today. Um, please like and subscribe, and let me know if I need a haircut. Right. Um, yeah, I'm just going to crack on, and then I'll, I'll see you later.